Rich Dad, Poor Dad, let's go, quick review. Not exactly what you're expecting. It's a very philosophical book about how the philosophy of money works, not how to make money. It tells you how to think in order to achieve money, but so few actual examples are given that it seems to have very little substance unless you know your stuff already and you're trying to actually go in that path right now in life. Otherwise, the philosophical you know, stories that are actually given to you, the, the philosophies that you want to adopt, are very good. Like, they're actually legitimately interesting. They're not very obvious, but at the same time, they're things that you understand as soon as you hear them. So, the ideas are very good. I just don't think that they reach as far as they possibly could. They're very original, and they're very interesting, and they're very useful. However, there's more that could be achieved if the author really tried to go a little bit harder. And while this philosophical aspect of the book is kind of like the main aspect, there seems to be another side narrative of how this guy lives life, and then his talking to his, like, father and his other father, his rich dad, his poor dad, and just the story of his life itself and that was absolutely awful it was so incredibly boring that I I just felt like that was such a dumb way of framing the story I mean like framing the story it's okay it's fine but the fact that it's really not a narrative there's really it's really weird and how it narratively progresses like from the beginning to the end it seems to have some kind of story but it doesn't have any actual story like it's trying to be a story but there's no story structure there's nothing to do with an actual story they're just talking about his life for no particular reason maybe it's just to connect up the dots but it doesn't do a good job in that respect. There seems to be no like tension, no conflict outside of his actual philosophical chapters. There's no tension in the actual story of what's going on. And so it kind of lost me in that area. It's it's in general, it, for the most part, it, I feel like it's a really boring book because the ideas as well are repeated many, many times during the thing without him actually giving any new insight over the, you know, fairly, they're not very long, but they're kind of long chapters. Like they're not, they're not one or two pages. They're a couple of pages, like there, there are dozens of pages. So I would expect a little bit more material to exist, maybe more examples, more point of views, but it seems that most of the time he's just repeating the same concept over and over. So overall, I would rate this book a two star. It's just, you know, it's just another average book for me. It's just an average uh, philosophical lifestyle book that doesn't really offer me anything extravagant right now, but I do see the potential in how it could affect your life in the better. The two star rating essentially means it's okay. I get why it's published and I get why people, some people enjoy it. So overall, it's an okay book. I don't do reviews like this often, so if you don't hear about my other novels, then that's okay. Go ahead, leave. But thank you guys for so much for watching. I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.